hey guys what's up everybody welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial from the apex predator billiards club my name is apex Elenio and i'll be taking you through one of those nine ball racks that demonstrates to you why a lot of persons in my country does not like to play nine ball um what you're about to see in this rack is just one of the things that is a part of the game and you have to just accept it and learn how to deal with it mentally we're going to start off with the break shot here and as, as you can see there, it's not the most productive break for two or three reasons. Number one, I did not make a ball on the break. Number two, I lost control of the cue ball because usually when I break, I need the cue ball to go off the side rail back into the middle of the table or maybe to break and squat the cue ball in the center of the table. That did not happen. And so um, I'm left with what you see here on the table. Now my opening shot here is a really tough combination. I did went down a little bit too fast to make this shot. But there you can see the very first thing that a lot of persons do not like in nine ball. And that is where you get what is called a fluke shot. Now if you look at that fluke shot there you can see that I played the combination the one onto the two. The two missed. The one ball bounced bubble in the pocket came off the two. And came back off the cue ball and rolled into the side. Now, nine ball is a game where you don't call any shots. You just simply play the lowest numbered object ball. And here you can see my opponent, if I had an opponent, would have been quite uncomfortable with such um, an outcome there. So with that, I consider that lucky and that was not the intent. Right. However, I did get a shot on the two and I now played proper position from the two making advantage or taking advantage of my luck. Playing from the two to the three, I just need to play on the high side of the four here to come off the side rail bounce, leave an angle here to come from the four onto the five. Now the five is all the way down near to the bottom rail so I need to get anywhere close to a little bit past half table. So if I, get, if I can get past the 6, that would be really good. Alright, so I'm just pretty much just playing just high center here. And just using um, the cue ball speed and the, tables, the table condition here. Alright, so I left myself a bit high on the 5. Alright, so I need to really get into that line that you see I'm pointing on there. It's somewhat of a thin cut. Well, it's not that thin. But if I don't play this ball good enough, I can't catch that second rail. So here we go again, going down to play this five ball here. All right. Um, once I can just get that cue ball off that second rail, heading to the six, I should be able to get a shot on the six. But here's what you're going to see again in the very same rack, another flow shot. That was a horrible miss. That cue ball came off the two knuckles off the corner pocket and went into the opposite corner there you can see i cannot believe that i have gotten another lucky shot and to top it all off i had perfect position on the six now there you can see again guys that um with that shot on the six i have to take advantage of this luck that's coming in my way there playing that six into the side pretty good stroke there position onto the seven once again guys even though I have a shot on the 7, I really should have not gotten this close to my work. Alright, however, the shot is still makeable. So, just using the um, the mechanical bridge here as a helping hand. Just kind of tuck this 7 ball in the pocket and kind of draw the cue ball back a little bit. Alright, and that was a pretty good shot. Now, once again here, um, this would obviously be what I would call the most fortuitous run out. But... Um, you're gonna see another error here and I believe that I really deserve this because I can see here that I just wanted to just go past the nine and just use the speed of the cue ball to come off I needed a bit more spin to just bounce off the side rail and widen the angle of the short rail but again this is what I got so you never want this to happen all right so we have already seen two flukes in this game all right and this is that this is why a lot of persons in my country do not like nine ball but again guys this is just a part of the game right sometimes the luck is with you sometimes the luck is against you all right have a very bad position here in the nine still make up in the side but just look again how fortuitous i am i play the nine i miss the shot by the near nipple and look at where that nine ball has gone again that nine ball has gone down to the end reel, leaving my imaginary opponent here with a bank. Now, 
if I am my imaginary opponent, all I'm thinking here is that this guy is too lucky. This is this is too fortuitous. I'm just gonna go for my shot and whatever happens, happens. So this is just what my imaginary opponent is saying. This is some crazy stuff happening in this rock. Alright? So now I'm just gonna go down now and I'm gonna try to bank the nine because it's my only shot. That's the only thing that I have. A lot of players I can agree that would go down on a shot like this. Now look at this. Miss the nine and watch that nine heads towards that corner for the third fortuito shot but it just settles deep into the shell of the corner pocket can you believe this viewers and subscribers what kind of rock this is now even though the rock has ended there's many things to learn from this because when you're playing with an opponent i can tell you from the get-go guys that um with a rock like this this will affect any opponent mentally they would even up it would even affect the opponent physically because to see one player being lucky three times in one game i mean it's crazy it's really really crazy to see this happening in iraq so um, i wanted to show you this um not for the purpose of learning or to add any value to your game but is to show you that nine ball is a game that has a lot of fortune the fortune can be swung on your side the fortune can be swung on the opponent's side but this is the part of the game that you are going to need to deal with as a pool player all right sometimes an opponent can break and get a golden break on you just some crazy stuff can happen in the game of nine ball which is what makes the game of nine ball so exciting all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this rock um there of course always knowledge to learn from every rock of nine ball i post these videos simply just to show you what training is like this is actually training this is not a live match this is just a match against myself and my imaginary opponent and there's many stuff that i learned from commentating on these matches or even watching them guys so i hope you were able to get some sort of knowledge from this even if it's just a little position play a little pattern play maybe you see me missing a particular shot maybe it's something that you can work on i don't know but i hope that you got some value from this video so again thank you as thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time in another tutorial video all right do take care peace out bye